All right, I thought I would uh, cover how to do color fill in a gun, or, or anything really with recessed writing. And um, the first step to this is to clean the surface. And using isopropyl alcohol works pretty well, using a Q-tip. And you got to be careful on some of these uh, polymer grips, the um, certain solvents like acetone will damage damage that material. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to do the slide here. So I'm cleaning that with isopropyl alcohol. And we're going to do this little decock only lettering that's right here. So we're cleaning this real well. We're going to let that evaporate for a second. And then we'll apply our paint. And uh, you basically let it dry for about 12 hours scrape off the excess and then uh, use some mineral spirits to take off the rest of the paint. Well, I've already done these three areas here. So I'll show you um, the step of removing the paint. And if, if there was an accumulation of paint, you can cut right across that. Just cut off all the extra paint with uh, an X-Acto knife. But at any rate, let's go ahead and remove that paint and take a look at this here. When it's drying, and the paint I used was the Tester's modeling paint. I'm going to use a black for the slide and uh, use silver for the frame. With, um, with this, with the Tester's, you can get flat, uh, not matte. Uh, uh, I mean, not glossy, but flat paint, uh, sort of a matte finish. And that looks better on, on guns, I think, than if you were to use some sort of uh, fingernail polish or anything with sparkles in it. At any rate, you'll want to take some of your mineral spirits here and just put a thin, thin little bit across and need to get a little more. Alright, just put a thin amount going across, so let that sit just for a second. So I'm already wiping off that black paint. You'll want to go just across the top. Don't scrub or you'll, you might take some of the paint out from inside the recessed lettering. And real light also, for the same reason. Just a little bit. And I have my other rag with, still kind of wet, so I can add a little more of this, a little more aggressive with the mineral spirits. The main thing I learned was don't think that you can do color fill and stippling at the same time while your paint is drying. You'll stick your finger in your paint. I learned that repeatedly. But there we go, all cleaned off. Each of the numbers is completely filled, nice and black. Before they looked, uh, you know, they just sort of looked stamped. This looks uh, a lot more high-end, I think. Sort of uh, definitely makes the numbers stand out, and especially the Ruger emblem will look real neat. But there you go. And uh, there's some of the stippling that I did. I did all across the back and all across the front with stippling. And that increases this grip just, it's an insane how much more it increases this grip. And the idea there, doing it on the back and the front, is just the, we, the way we grip. We don't really squeeze the sides. We, we pull on the, the back and the front. So that, uh, the stippling there, and uh, I did a previous video on how to stipple, but uh, doing a straight line, that's kind of challenging. Just use a piece of tape and uh, 
you'll feel your tool just kind of gliding on the tape. And so that's how you can do a straight line with the stippling. But check out my stippling video. And um, there's the kind of the finished product on this one. I'm still waiting for the silver to dry. The silver uh, seems to take a long time to dry for some reason. But let's go ahead. Let's do the, the paint on the black. And that's pretty simple. I already shook it up previously, but I'll give it a little shake again. And what I use to put on the paint is just a toothpick or a paper clip. So here we are. What you want to do is just get sort of a, a drop that can you can sort of guide into all the cracks. You don't want too much, or it just makes it a pain to get the paint off. So it's better to just sort of spread this across. So uh, the basic steps for doing the color fill cleaning the uh, cleaning the letters real well with alcohol and a q-tip applying some good modeling paint like this testers that I'm using here don't add too much paint let it dry like like 12 hours some of the colors apparently dry faster than others but there you go it's a nice uh, complete covering of paint and uh, I'll do the, the Ruger here in just a sec, but there you go. Um, that's how you apply the paint. You'll let that dry. And when it's dried uh, for 12 hours, it's not completely rock hard. And so then, you know, especially on the metal, I can use an X-Acto knife and sort of scrape off the excess. On the rubber, or I mean on this um, frame here, it, it felt like it wanted to scratch so I wouldn't suggest it using an exacto knife to scrape anything off unless maybe it's the steel at least it, that's what I experienced so uh, there you go after after I'll get off the excess then I'll wipe it down just like you saw me do here and uh, those are all the steps to do color fill on your gun or anything with recessed lettering have fun <laughs>